Thank you very, very much uh, for doing this. And I hope you enjoy performing it. And I hope your audience will equally enjoy your performance. Wow. I know. That's powerful. Very. Did you listen to the hot breakfast this morning? Here's what you missed. First written, published in 1970 by Gugiwa Viongo and Gugiwa Merie. It was then in Kikui, in Kikui called Gahika Deda. Gahika Deda. Yes. I uh, will marry when I want. It was performed. I should cram that. <laughs> Gahika Deda, Rani. That's typical of you, isn't it? Gahika Deda. It was first performed in 1977. Where were you? Uh, I, was, uh, whew, I was in the conceptualizing stages. And for the very first time at the Kenyan National Theatre, it is about to be performed. Thanks to the Nairobi Performance Arts Studio. Joining us live in the studio now is the director of the Nairobi, Perform Nairobi Performance Performing Arts Studio, uh, Stuart Nash, and one of the lead actresses in the play, Angel Waringe. It's a star-studded cast, by the way, and it's a great, great play. And it starts performance next Thursday, May the 12th, all the way to the 29th. Nick Angel, welcome to Hot 96. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Thank Nick. You. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very well. How are you? Very good. Wow. So does the inspiration on redoing this. Do you feel like a lot of people are postponing marriage? <laughs> 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 and you had to address it? <laughs> um, you know what? It, I have to be honest. It wasn't even my idea to do this play. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, we, um, we just finished Serafina a couple of years ago. And you know, you have to look for something which can like be equal or top what you've just done and it's really hard so um i was talking to uh, a friend of mine uh, margareta who's a journalist and um she she was a student of ngugi wadiong was and she actually suggested that we look at this play because it had not been done for so long and so it's just like an obvious one to do it's just absolutely brilliant yeah and i was saying it's as relevant today as it was then because it's all about post-colonial themes of class struggle poverty gender culture religion modernity versus tradition marriage family angel oh my goodness uh, it, this is this could be 2022 it is it is um, um first of all when i got the call from Stuart asking me whether at first i'd heard that he's doing gahika dead i was like hmm? <laughs> Stuart nash doing gahika dead how is that now what sort of brain move is that yes i stupid <laughs> <laughs> brave i call it brave so i was like okay of course i'm interested and what part is like you're playing a part called jezebel i'm like okay that tells it all what i'm playing <laughs> but i've ha I'd heard of gahika deda obviously growing up as much as it was done when i uh, written when i was not there but i was like okay this is a privilege theater being my first love so i decided to write the book and i remember telling my Dad, we are doing Gahika Deda. He was like, are you sure? Does the government know about this? Do you know that was planned? Are you sure this is right? Yeah. You could get into trouble. Like, no, no, no. We have been really liberal times and we, we, we are allowed to do this. Until I read the book, I was like, oh my God, is yeah. this what we are going to do? Well, the book is way different from how the play was executed. No, the play has never been executed. I read the book mm. to know what we are putting on stage. Okay. Yes, but, and the but, depth. The depth is what I'm talking about. But people need to understand the play was actually shut down by the government then, right? Yes. It was shut down, and Gogi and uh, both Gogis were arrested and detained. They were detained for about a year. The young was um, detained, yeah, but um, Gogi Wamiri uh, fled to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, and <laughs> like Angel was saying. You must be a little nervous. I mean, the word is out that Gogi's play, even if it's 45 years later, and it's still yeah. relevant to this day, Yeah, you guys are performing it. <laughs> if you look at it, though, it, it is... It does have a lot of issues that are relevant today, but they're relevant all around the world. They're not, it's not necessarily just relevant to Kenya. The, the issues of poverty, corruption, and whatever else is addressed in the play. Um, the hypocrisy of some elements of religion mm -hmm. um, is quite featured. <laughs> tell, um, tell me about the hypocrisy of your religion. That's <laughs> how <laughs> so I give Jeff a good reason not to go to church. Oh, <laughs> I feel uh, yeah. performing this show as an artist, at first, when, when we were working with bits and pieces, you know, we're not. Uh, blocking the show from the beginning to the end so you don't get to f uh, have the feel now we did uh, stagger through just a few weeks ago and I was watching it 
I did not know. I think Stuart, you sitting next to me, I started becoming emotional because we were, we, I became emotional. I do not know why I was crying because I felt the oppression, especially when we joined to the ensemble and the singing. And I was like, oh my God, this story being written this way, I can understand why it was banned because it was someone trying to speak on behalf of so many people who are being oppressed. Then looking at it, it's still what is happening, but it's, it's a totally different cast. Same script, but a different cast. Then I wonder, is it our fault? Is there a big problem when the missionaries came and changed who we are in terms of religion and culture? Would we still want to embrace where we are? And coming from this ethnicity, I do feel there are some people who are still stuck to that, but I feel there's so much that has been diluted because of this entity of these people who came to us. Wow. So it's a very emotional, emotional story, and mm. having to be part of it is crazy. It's, <laughs> it's also it's also really anti-white, which is <laughs> which is really weird for me mm. as a director, um, from the point of view that it's quite um, it really condemns about the foreign foreign invest well foreigners coming investing and then taking all the profits out of the country mm -hmm. um not that i do that <laughs> it's, it's you know that's one element that is it's quite interesting people wouldn't expect a white person to direct this play so i love it wow. uh, this four couples uh representing the haves and the have nots basically representing religion and it's hypocrisy sorry to say because even today we have a lot of hypocrisy in religion and being an equal as a country that inequality was still there at that time so is it because i feel that change begins with you when you watch this show i think it's going to take some so many people talking a lot and it's going, i think it's going to have a little influence in that it's a political year no. <laughs> yeah? was about to say. you'll be surprised yeah. i'm certain i'll change one or two people who right. wanted to go this way and they will go oh. this way <laughs> but let's do it if you were to give us a little synopsis Mm -hmm. like a two-line a three-liner if someone is, is listening it's really to re the, the actual overarching story is about um kigunda and mangeshi which are played by um Mwaro bilal and uh nice kidinji um they have a small par parcel of land one and a half acres and then uh Kiyoi wants that piece of land he's a rich guy he owns the village he owns everything in the area and all the they have this one small parcel of land and he basically cheats them out of it and that's that's really the overarching story there are loads of other themes that are mixed in that we've already spoken about but yeah that which i think is something that's very relevant you know land cheating and all of that yeah. uh, everywhere yeah. um you know not just kenya everywhere across the world it happens um so that's that that that's the overarching story yeah when you think of the genius of this this was published in 1970 angel mm -hmm. 1970 fast forward 52 years later and you know for some people very little has changed it's like i said the same script different cast you know and the genius in the writing oh my god in 1970 and getting a personal message from googie to giving oh, yeah. us a blessings to do this show i mean as an artist that was the epitome of all of it and that's what even gives me goosebumps but I can't just do it to yeah. tell the But would you story. feel like maybe the, the genius of writing was actually, he was writing something that was actually happening, you know, now he's narrating, because I, I feel like a lot of, uh, you know, things back then were done mm -hmm. the same way it is being done in the play. You know, you take advantage of your literate neighbor, mm -hmm. take his land, give him maybe a few cows, sell it, you become rich, keep him oppressed to the next person like that but one of the themes that is 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 um, explored in it is the gap between rich and poor mm -hmm. and i know that in in in, in the uk then even now they're saying the gap between rich and poor is wider than it's ever been yeah it's just such a universal a lot of the things are so universal yeah um yeah and then they are just as relevant now but i think with any good literature it it's not just about the themes if if the themes were there but the writing was not good it wouldn't have lasted mm. it it's the fact that the that the writing is so top notch if you if you look at any of the any of the writers and novelists or playwrights that have lasted through centuries mm the plays are good yes they have all those things but the writing is really really good and and i think that's evident here the fact that this play has lasted and not been done as well and it could have been done it's been there anybody could could have done it the publishers had it available for the last 40 years um so and yeah it's been there but it even though it's not been done it's still 
everybody knows it. Yeah. And yes, Nick, what you asked, I do feel he wrote on a, there's a personal touch to it. And I've been brought up in the village. I honestly can relate to that story with what I saw growing up in the village. Oh, you have a few people who lost their property. <laughs> <laughs> there's a key, it's called Kiyoda. Trust me, <laughs> trust me, it's a very relatable a, yeah. story to today. Someone can either know someone or it has happened to, to them. Hmm. In terms of religion also, and uh, that whole grabbing and as you're here, you're there. Yeah. And then trying to try to be like that person. So you start, you know, how do you say, you start compromising yourself to follow like this other couple that follows these rich people. Mm. They're trying to ape them. So they also compromise their lives to be like mm. there. That's almost like Instagram, but without Instagram back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> If you say so. <laughs> Stuart, you mentioned that you got a personal message from Google with the young We did. And hmm. um, we've actually got it. We can play it if you want to uh, in a minute. But yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, that was just, um, amazing so um i've got to give a shout out to john sibiokumu for helping us with that um he he contacted and we got this i just was looking on my whatsapp and john called me and said look at your whatsapp look at your whatsapp mm -hmm. and i was driving i was, I was like oh, let me check in a minute and then look at it and then i see this video of i like clearly he like a, a recording that they've done in california and i couldn't believe it i that moment when I saw that video, and we've got one in English, and he did one in Kikuyu. Uh, that will be one of the moments I will never forget yeah, in my it time really in Kenya. Yeah, up because we we get to tell his story, and definitely we'll get to watch some way somewhat. So we have to bring our best. Yeah. yeah, and tell this story as authentically as he tried to mm. put it. And this play is being performed both in English and Kikuyu. Yes. yes. <laughs> Go on. That was my idea. Yes. The, the thing is, um, you know, it was originally written in Kikuyu, and. But Ngugi and um, both of the Ngugi Wamire, they're, they're, they're national icons. They, yes, they're Kikuyu icons, but they're also Kenyan icons. Yeah. And we wanted the, sh the play to be open to everybody to see. So um, we had to do it in the original language. You know, translations are great. They're never quite the same as all the idioms and, and the sayings and everything. When they're translated into another language, they don't necessarily quite carry the same weight so we wanted to do it in the original language um but then also we wanted everybody to yeah, to, to be able to, to see to it watch, as well yes. so we did it in english as well it's um, a kenyan story mm -hmm. it's a, i agree yeah, it's okay. it's really is a it's a human story I yes, think. a yes. kenyan story human story maybe you can throw in a swahili version <laughs> Well, well, actually, uh, the English version is not completely in English. It's uh -huh. although it was it was written as a translation. We um, Bilal actually reworked it for us so that there is a lot of sheng and Swahili mixed How in with speak, it. How we speak, we're not younger. Yeah, mm. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm. That's Swahili yeah. Sanifu. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> no. Nice, 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 yeah. nice. So, first performance is on the twelfth. That's next Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it runs for Time. a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, it runs from the 12th to the 15th, mm -hmm. and then, oh God, the 26th, I think. Basically, Thursday to Sunday yeah. for two weekends, but there's a gap in the middle for the weekend. There's a get weekend in the middle where we're not performing. At Kenya National Theatre, yeah? Yep. What times? times? Um, the times are kind of all different. Basically, the evening shows are at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have a matinee on Saturday, an afternoon show at 3 p.m. But one other thing that we've tried to do, because of the educational element and because of the play and because Ngugi Badiongo obviously had River Between as a set book for years. Um, so we thought it'd be nice to open it to schools as well. So we actually have four schools performances um, which we're given a big discount for students. So instead of it being 1600, 1600 which is the normal price at the gate, it's actually going to be 500 bob for students um, and those shows are on Thursday the 12th and Friday the 13th and Thursday the 26th and Friday the 27th at 11 a.m. So do we want to give something back to schools to give them an nice. opportunity to see the play and nice. reduce price. Especially the universities because they have these faculties in mm -hmm. campus. Mm -hmm. Well, we actually got a call. I'm sorry for I love this story. We got this. We got a call yesterday from um, Aga Khan Mombasa. They're bringing 80 students to... Oh. 
Nairobi just to see our play for Mombasa. I'm so chuffed at that. Wow. It's so lovely. Wow. It's big. It's big. Yeah. It's a big. It's a big show. It's got a chance to uh, get our listeners to buy tickets, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> tickets are available through View Tickets. Uh -huh. There's also a uh, WhatsApp text number 0795-715-200. Again, 0795-715-200. There's also an Mpesa pay bill number. Yep. Yeah, we're doing Mpesa result, which yep. is uh, 40. 845 mm -hmm. 48045 uh, 44 um, you can pay through the pay bill if you call the number that you just mentioned Jeff um, people can get more information about ways to pay and if you pay by a pay bill uh, with that number the account number is the performance date right you just put the yeah. date that you want um, yeah. and then we'll call you back time. all right. right so remember this number pretty simple to remember yeah. 48845 that's a pay bill number 40 845 tickets are going for 1,300 in advance. If you're a regular Kenyan who likes to do things last minute, it's 1,600 <laughs> at the gate. <laughs> and then uh, uh, 6,000 for group tickets. Yeah.